Hi guys, welcome to our channel Let's Decode. In this video we are going to explore Arduino. As we all know Arduino Uno is an open source microcontroller board extensively used in almost every graduation level projects. Its easy to use interface made it more popular in this tech world. Now we will know how to interface LCD display and DC motor to Arduino. As we do, let's divide and conquer it. First we will know about LCD connections and how to code it. Then we will discuss about the motor connections. Later we interface both to Arduino. Finally we will see how to control the rotations. Without any delay let's start our video. Before knowing about LCD, first let's know why we are using LCD. Actually we have LEDs which can be used to indicate, that is turn on, or off but we can't display anything. So we move to 7 segment displays, using them we can display numbers, or maybe some alphabets. Then to display text, we require LCDs, that is liquid crystal display. This LCD can display 16 characters in each line, and total there are 2 lines in this LCD. Now this 20 by 4 LCD have 4 lines, and each line can display, maximum of 20 characters. Based on requirement, we can select the LCD size. We will be using 16 by 2 LCD. So let's look at its pin configuration. Now let us connect the LCD, to the Arduino board. First pin is ground so connect it to the ground pin of Arduino. Second pin is power, or VCC so, connected to 5V pin of Arduino. Coming to third pin, it is contrast control. We will connect it to a variable resistor, that is potentiometer. Using this knob, we can adjust the contrast of the LCD. This potentiometer has three terminals, first is VCC. So I am shorting it to the VCC of LCD. Or we can connect it to the 5V of Arduino. Second terminal is control, so connect it to, LCD contrast control pin. Third terminal is ground. Then we have register select, if it is zero, we can give commands, such as set cursor, scroll text, to LCD. If it is 1, then we can give data to the LCD, to display. It is automated in, built-in function of LCD. We just need to specify, the pin we connected, while calling the function, we will see that while coding. I am connecting this to 12 pin. Next pin is read or write. If it is 1, then LCD is used in read operation. If it is 0, then we can write data onto the LCD. We will be using this in write operation, so I am connecting it to the ground terminal. Then enable pin. It is automated in the inbuilt function same as register select, we need to just specify the pin we connected. I am connecting it to pin 11. These are data pins. We will be using LCD in 4-bit mode. So we need to connect last 4 data bits. I am connecting them from 5th pin of Arduino to 2nd pin. Then, we are having LED pins, used for the backlight of LCD. This green light, when we turn on is known as backlight. Connect anode to VCC using a resistor. Connect cathode to the ground of Arduino. Now let us look at coding of LCD. First we need to include the LCD header file. Then we have to declare the constant variables that are connected. 
we have connected register select to pin 12. Enable to pin 11. Then data lines from pin 5 to pin 2. Now let us give a short name to use LCD display. That is LCD, and pass the parameters into the function. Let us set up the LCD display. LCD begin of 16 comma 2, as we are going to use it. Then let's print text on LCD as, learn electronics. Sorry this needs to be typed as loop. Yeah. We did it. We have specified a text, that is more than 16 characters, so we lost a character. I am removing this space. This potentiometer is used for contrast adjustment. Now let's see how to connect a motor. I am selecting this DC motor. We can select whatever motor required based on the requirement. To operate this motor, we need to supply more than 9 volts, based on its power ratings. But from Arduino we can get a maximum of 5 volts. So to drive this motor, we will take help of motor driver. Let's look at the connections. Place this in the middle. This motor has two terminals, so we will use two inputs of this driver. That is input and output 1, input and output 2. We will not use this 3 and 4 now. First pin is enabled so we need to connect it to 5 volts. Second pin is input 1 so connect it to any of the Arduino pin. Third pin is output so connect it to the output device that is motor. Fourth pin is ground so ground it. Fifth pin is also ground, so I am shorting it to the previous ground. Next pin is output, so connect it to other terminal of output device. Next pin is input 2, so connect it to Arduino pin. This is power 2, so connect it to VCC. All this are not required. Now this last pin is power, so connect it to VCC or 5 volts pin. Let's see how to rotate this motor. First set up the pins, we used from Arduino to connect to the motor. We are using this as output pins, with respect to Arduino. Let's forget about this LCD, and just code for the rotation of motor. Yes, the motor is rotating in clockwise direction. Now, we will rotate it in anti-clockwise direction. So, change the high and low inputs. The motor is initially rotating in clockwise direction. And now after some time it is rotating in anti-clockwise direction. We can stop the motor by, either making both pins high or both low. Initially it started clockwise rotation. 
then it rotated in anti-clockwise direction and finally stopped. And then starts again. Now let us display this rotation direction on LCD. During clockwise rotation we need to display clockwise on LCD. And during anti-clockwise we need to display anti-clockwise. I am making a function for each case. Clockwise function. I am pasting it here. On first line we need to display status of the motor. So LCD.set cursor of. This position is 0, 0, this is 0, 1. Sorry, this is 0, 0 as we need to start from top left. We will print status as on. Then on second line we need to display direction. So set cursor 0, 1. and print direction as clockwise. In the same way, let's create anti-clockwise function. Status is on and direction is anti-clockwise. And finally turn off motor. Status is off. And there is no direction. We need to call this functions. Starting with clockwise. And then anti-clockwise after some delay. And finally turn off motor. We have got some characters after on, that is because we haven't cleared the LCD. The characters of this print statement are appeared. So let's clear LCD before printing new statement. Yeah. Now it is perfect. But some of the characters of this statement are missing, to avoid we can use scroll text. It is rotating in anti-clockwise now. And then it stopped. And again started rotating. Now let us automate this rotation, that is based on the input given we have to rotate this motor. If we give 1, the motor rotation must be clockwise. And if it is 2, then we have to rotate it in anti-clockwise. And if it is other than 1 and 2, we will stop the motor. First, we have to set up serial monitor. Serial dot begin of 9600, that is transmission rate. We have to first check whether there is any character available in serial monitor. If it is available, then we have to read that into variable. Initialize this variable at the top. Now, we have to decide direction based on the input. If it is 1, then we have to call clockwise function. Else if it is 2, then we have to call anti-clockwise function. And other than these two, we have to call turn off function. Let's give an input. Yeah, it is clockwise. It is turned off now. Other than 1 and 2 we have to turn off the motor. We can even use C for clockwise rotation, and A for anti-clockwise as we wish. 